Hello everyone. Welcome to the automated script. The easiest and finest way to start your automation testing. To stay up to date with my latest videos and cool automation tips, please make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel. I am Mahesh and I am senior test automation architect with 14 plus years of experience in software test automation. I worked in R&D department for 5 years on multiple technologies and languages. I got one patent and another in queue. So today I'm going to uh, sh uh, going to show you how WebDriver works. Also, I'm going to show you a very easiest step-by-step -step way to start with your Selenium automation. On my screen, I'm sharing how Selenium WebDriver works or automate any browser and how we can understand each one of these components. So the first component is your language bindings. So these bindings are Selenium client libraries offered in multiple programming languages that automation tester used to send control commands to the browsers. The commands like the open browser, click on sign in button or click on any checkbox or radio button. Those are all your commands. Then we have the core architecture. So core architecture holds your JSON wire protocols. So JSON wire protocol, uh, this is an REST API protocol that all WebDriver server implementations adhere to and understand. Each of the queries and commands the automation tester write using Selenium client library are converted to HTTP requests and with the query or command as payload the notation that is your JSON format and is sent to the WebDriver server. So your core architecture hold your JSON wire protocol very important which can be communicate over these things. Now there are drivers if you can see I mentioned Firefox driver, Safari driver, Chrome driver, Edge driver, Android and other drivers. So these are the web driver server implementation for a variety of browsers. A web driver server implementation is nothing but an HTTP server that receives a request from the Selenium client and using a JSON wire protocol format. Then it analyzes the HTTP request and prepares a browser specific command to execute against the browser. Again, I said the command like you're, you wanted to click on some sign in button, you wanted to select any checkbox or you wanted to select any radio button. If the request is get request, the browser driver should return a response. Okay, otherwise the post request is a one way request to execute an action on without any request, uh, response. Now, fourth one is the fourth component of this web driver, how web driver works of the, these things are your browsers. So there are a different browsers that support. See, I have mentioned those like Chrome browser, Firefox, Safari, Edge, and some more. So there are browsers that have corresponding web driver server implementation also. The web driver server implementations communicate with the browsers over HTTP via the uh, protocol of each browser. Okay. Now, and once those all the components met and we execute the test, then we'll receive a final output. So final output will get the perform action on the browsers and we can perform some commands and we'll get the rest run and the test results. So now we will see each one of this component in a demo. So let me share my screen on the Eclipse side. Okay. So now we need, okay. Now we can start with the Selenium. So before we can start, we need some of the uh, prerequisites like we need the Selenium uh, language bindings on your system plus you need uh, any browser driver. So we need these two components on our system first. So if I want to download, I can simply write Selenium download and this is the Selenium download site. If, if you can see it is selenium.dv slash download. This is official site. Now I can see the bindings first. So I need the language bindings first. Though I'm showing you the implementation with Java. So this is the latest stable version of Java 3. And I'm not going to show you any alpha version right now because already I have created one uh, video on Selenium WebDriver 4. You can have a look at that. So if I need this version, I can click here on this download. 
okay so before that uh, i have my download path this is my download path this is my default download path where it will be download okay so i am going back and i click on download so it starts the download and it downloads in a, a particular path we'll go back yes it is downloaded here just now now i am going back and extract all extract all and you can see here the all libraries all libraries of this version which we are looking for right now so this is my latest version now we need a i said now we need a driver so driver is for the browser so let's say currently i'm using chrome so i can use any of this chrome driver i click here on documentation i can see what is the latest version if you are using current stable version 83 and i can see what is my version of google chrome if it's 83 84 83 okay so i can download this 83 version of chrome driver it says which one you need so i need windows 32's bit and it is downloaded again it has within the same folder i go back here and if you can see this is the folder i can extract all this here and i have oh sorry so i have my chrome driver dot exe here so if you want i can simply copy this and keep it outside and i can keep it here itself so that it is very easy for us to get so i need this chrome driver i need this selenium libraries so now we can go back and start our eclipse project so this is my eclipse I am going to create a new Java project. The project name is Selenium Implementation. Okay, and I said finished. Now I have my SRC and JRE. I am going to create a new package of name selenium package okay and now i'm going to create a new java class so class name is selenium basic i'm going to select public static void it is an entry point to my any java program i click this finished if you can see this is my code base now so now i have my selenium now i have my uh drivers i have my language findings and everything so before that we can see whether this code base is working or not i can write system dot out dot print ln launching a chrome browser and we just execute this code so we can just simply say right click run as and java application you can run from here as well you can run from fi as well so there are different shortcuts and you can click it from anywhere so this execute and it says launching a chrome browser now i wanted to do some of the script where i wanted to write where i wanted to write my selenium scripts and i wanted to open google chrome so i go back here i can see this is my web page which i wanted to automate so this is my selenium qtp site here i wanted to enter abc here i wanted to enter xyz here again i wanted to enter xyz this is the site so before we wanted to automate this site we need to identify this as a element it's nothing but a web element so to identify this i am just right clicking on this clicking on inspect and i'll see what is the exact okay so this is my username so if you can see i just make it a bit smaller so you can understand okay so this is my username so the the current locator is name so i have name equals name so i'm going to identify this with name equals name same way password i have name equals password and for confirm password i have name equals confirm password same way for login button for login button i have this link text 
so these are a different locators by which we can identify and this site we wanted to automate i wanted to enter abc then i wanted to enter xyz xyz and uh, click on the login button so let's go back here so before that before that we wanted to set a one important point that is a system dot set property let me write that and i'll explain what it is so we can write here in this way okay it is system dot set if you can see oh, okay system dot set property if you can see okay it says i want a key and value pair key is my uh, normal key and it holds some value so the key of my system dot set property is for chrome it is web driver dot chrome dot driver okay and the value for this is the value of your chrome driver so as i show you we downloaded this chrome driver at this location so we simply copy this we'll simply paste it here if you want you can give the single slash by this way if you want double slash then you can give double slash in this way so I'm going to give currently a single slash and then I'm saying I want a Chrome driver dot exe. Okay, so we wanted to see whether it is at current location or not. So let's go back. See, it is a uh, desktops Java and this location. You can check once more time. It's a Chrome driver dot exe. So let's go back and now so what is system dot set property is so system dot set the set property is a method which is a static method within the system class okay and you will make use of set property method because the browser doesn't have a built-in server to run the automation code. In this case, you will need a Chrome, IE, Gecko driver or any different uh, drivers. Uh, okay, it's to server for communicating your Selenium code to the browser. In simple word, to set the path of the driver for respective browser, you will need a definitely system dot set property. It is not mandatory that I'll explain in my next video, but this is what you need. Now, once I set up this, then I have a important that is web driver driver equals new chrome driver i wanted to open the chrome driver but if you can see still i have not received any of this intelligence where it says import web driver or import chrome driver why because i have not yet added any of the reference library so i am going to add a reference library from here so right click on the project build path configure build path add external jars and you can go back to systems where we downloaded this library so this is my library so i'm taking the libraries open those library if i need more i can go to the leaps so you can select all these library apply and okay once you apply and okay you can see here the reference library is added so you have all those library which you have added just now which you downloaded from the selenium.dev site that is the official site now if you can see and mouse over on this web driver it says you need to import this web driver from selenium if you can go back and see the chrome driver it says you need to import this chrome driver so this is how you can resolve these errors so it says you have this web driver driver and new chrome driver so driver is an instance of type web driver and web driver is an interface where the chrome driver is an implementation of web driver so i can see if i want this instance of web driver but which is referring to the object chrome driver now if i can write driver dot gate so gate is a command uh, is i mean in our case we can say command but it's a method within this and it says i want input parameter as a string so gate will help you to open any of the uh, url within your open browser instance 
it will wait until your whole page loads so we wanted to open this site so i can copy this url go back again just paste it here now we can just simply save this code and we rerun the code and we'll see whether it is opening this site or not so we just execute it should open the chrome browser and launch the browser and open this url into the browser okay so it launched let's see yes it launched and it opens this browser so i'm just closing this now we said we wanted to enter the username we wanted to enter username password and confirm password and then click on the login so let's say i wanted to find that element first so find element is another method which will return you the web element i said by name so username value was name there and i said i wanted to send so send is another command method which will enter any of the text where you wanted to enter so i wanted to enter abc on username or i can say i wanted to enter user on username then i wanted to find the password by again name and its value was password there again i wanted to send keys as password and the last is i wanted to identify the confirm password by dot sorry it's a name and i said what is the value of confirm password so we can just simply see and we just copy this it's a confirm password i go back said confirm password and again i wanted to send keys here password so i am going to enter my username i am going to enter my password i am going to enter my confirm password these are the three things that i am going to do on this site if if required then only i'll click otherwise i'm just uh, just wanted to execute this code now so let's execute i am executing this selenium basic class where it is saying launching the browser so i'm not closing this so that at least we can see whether it opens and enter some values into this code so it enter username it enters password and it enters password this is how we can automate i'm just closing this now and if you wanted to later on if you wanted to do something like driver dot find element by dot link text there are different different uh, uh, I mean, there are eight locators type by name, by ID, by link text, by partial link text, then by XPath, by CSS, then by tag name and by class name. So I'm going to use this link text and link text was login. And there is method to click. So I said click. So this is how we wanted to set again, rerun this code. And we wanted to see whether it's execute the same code. and now it opens okay it enters user password and click on the login once you click on the login it will jump to the next page this is how we can do the things and now finally once we are done with all my art code then we say driver.close so driver.close will close the current browser instance of opened by a current driver so if current driver opens Chrome, so it will close the current browser instance. So this is the final code which will help you to start your at least a basic uh, Selenium script. I'm sure this will help you to kickstart your automation testing within your current project. Meanwhile, if you have any question, uh, definitely you can ask and uh, and you can uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can follow me also on the LinkedIn. This is my profile and uh, uh, happy automation. I would suggest uh, you can uh, try this at, uh, I mean, your workplace. Uh, Thank you so much. Thanks for watching this video.